Hey everyone, Justin here from the Bill Coors Wellness Center. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good day today so far. And I'm coming at you with a stretch and roll routine. Uh, before I get started, <clears throat> this video is intended for Bill Coors Wellness Center members and employees of Molson Coors only. Uh, with that out of the way, I want to go over what you're going to need um, in order to complete this. Ideally, you've got a foam roller, and I know what you're thinking. Well, Justin, what do I do if I don't have a foam roller? Well, no worries. There's plenty of things in your house that you can utilize to get the same effect that you would from a foam roller. So I've got a Nalgene water bottle here. These are nice and hard. You can definitely get your body weight behind it and not have to worry about it breaking. So that's an option for you. You could use a, a normal water bottle that's full. I actually don't have one on hand today, but um, that could definitely be utilized and you could even freeze it to make it harder. I've also got a like double walled insulated um, kind of water uh, cup here. Um, you could use that as well. Um, that's actually what I'm going to show you guys using today. Um, and then if you've got even a can of soup or here we've got some nice black beans, get some uh, carbs and protein in right after we finish this if I wanted to. Uh, you could definitely use a, a can of uh, whatever you have on hand as well. Um, these are definitely strong enough to to put your body weight behind it. Uh, <clears throat> alternatively, you could also use for more pinpoint, um, kind of trigger point attacking uh, trigger points that you have, you could use um, any, any sort of like hard ball that you have. So I've got a baseball, I've got, you could use a tennis ball, you could use a lacrosse ball. Um, so really it's completely up to you what you use. This stuff is going to be more reserved for pinpoint stuff, so kind of like glutes, lats a little bit. But I'm going to show you everything today just using this uh, double walled um, water cup. So having said that, before we <clears throat> dive into the uh, foam roll stuff or the um, hard water bottle roll, rolling stuff, we're going to go through uh, two body weight exercises. So the first <clears throat> is going to be a kneeling lean back. So I'm going to flatten my feet, uh, or the top of my feet are flat on the floor. And then I'm going to basically extend my hips and lean, have my arms crossed over, and then lean back on a three second count as far as I can, and then come back up. So we're doing a little bit of strengthening, but we're also dynamically stretching the quads. And we're gonna do this five times making sure that I stay extended through the hips. So this entire time I'm squeezing my glutes. I've got two more and I'm counting one, two, three, as far down as I can go and then back up. And then we've got one more, three, two, one, and then back up. Once I've got that done, I'm gonna move to a down dog position so you're gonna be kind of in a push-up position or hands and knees. And then I'm gonna prop myself up onto my feet and then I'm gonna drive my hands away from me. In this position, I'm in an inverted V. And then from here, I'm just gonna do what's called in the yoga world, walk the dog. So I'm just bending the knee, pushing through the ball of my foot. As I do that, I'm dropping the opposite heel we're going to go five on each side. I've got three, there's four, and five. So I'm feeling that stretch in the calf when I press my heel to the floor. And I'm also feeling it in my low back, uh, glutes, as well as hamstrings. Once you've got that done, you're going to go ahead and grab your foam roll implement, whatever it may be. And then we're going to side lie starting with a lat roll or lat release. So remember that lat muscle is the one that starts kind of right here at the shoulder joint and comes all the way down. We're gonna attack the meaty part right here that's typically tight on people. So you're gonna side lie, raise the arm up over, and then I'm aiming 
to get just below the armpit. Here, I'm gonna roll slowly back and forth. It's not a large roll, I'm maybe going three or four inches. And I'm trying to find a tender spot. When I find that tender spot, I'm just gonna sit on it. We're gonna stay here for 30 seconds. Making sure to breathe, don't hold your breath. You can roll it a little more. Oh yeah, I'm finding an even more tender spot. Breathe in nice and big. I'd say that's about 30 seconds. Then we're gonna switch sides. So I'll show you, show you from this angle. So we are raising the arm up over the head. <clears throat> Side lying, getting that meaty lat muscle. This one's not nearly as tender for me as the other side. You may find that you've got one side uh, tighter and a little more painful than the other, or a little more uncomfortable, I should say. And um, that's a signal for you to stay there longer. So 30 seconds is, is what I'm recommending for the lat, but you could obviously stay longer if you want. There's definitely no harm in, in spending more time on a certain muscle. And that's about 30 seconds on that. So once we've got that lat roll done, we are gonna move to an IT band, which is that um, pretty fibrous band that runs from the hip to the knee. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna side lie again. We're gonna <clears throat> get it on the outside of the, of the leg. And then I am starting at the knee, just above the knee. Make sure you're not rolling on the knee, knee joint itself. And then I'm gonna slowly roll up, trying to relax the muscles of the lower leg as much as possible. Again, when I find a tender spot, I'm gonna sit on it. We're gonna stay here for a minute. I think the biggest mistake people make when they're doing foam rolling is they do it really quickly. We wanna actually go slow and be very deliberate about it to find some of those trigger points when you find them, sit on it, and then you can even do a little bit of cross friction. So with the cross friction, I'm actually trying to rotate a little bit. It's not gonna feel good. It should never feel good. Um, you're going for a slight discomfort. So on a scale of zero to 10, we never wanna roll it a 10. You wanna be around a six or a seven. And then once we've got about a minute here, rolling up and down from just below the hip to just above the knee, we're gonna switch. So again, side lie, cross one, cross that top leg over, and then position that implement on the outer edge of the leg, of the upper leg. And then from here, we're rolling slowly up, just knock my water bottle, my other water bottle over, and then finding that tender spot sitting on it. I can do a little bit of cross friction. We're gonna stay here for 60 seconds again, just like we did on the other side. And then I'm rolling back, seeing if I can't find any other trigger points. Making sure to breathe. When you hit that spot, you're gonna wanna hold your breath. Do your best not to do that. All right, and then a couple more seconds here. All right, it's about a minute on each leg. And then the final roll technique we're gonna do is for the upper glute muscle, the glute medius. So that's not the the big butt muscle, that's the one right up here. In order to attack this, we're gonna first get in a seated position just off to the side of whatever we're using to roll on. And then I'm going to cross the leg over on the side I want to attack. So I'm facing you guys with the left leg crossed over because I'm gonna attack the left glute med. And I'm going to, once I'm crossed over, sit on this, aiming for just below that hip joint or that big hip bone that you can feel the top of. So I'm in the meaty part of the upper outer glute area. And again here, 
I'm rolling slowly back and forth. When I feel a tender spot, I'm going to sit on it. We're going to stay here for a minute as well. So you can again do a little bit of cross friction if you want, which is kind of just kind of rotating left to right while I've got pressure through that bottle. And this is, a, this is definitely one uh, along with the IT band and the lat stretch that you could definitely use a ball with. A ball is going to be able to get into a more localized area and you're definitely going to feel it more. Um, so feel free if you've got something like that to use that. Um, you'll definitely be able to attack more specific tender areas with that. But there's nothing wrong with just using um, something like a bottle or a foam roller like I've got here. Okay, that's probably been about a minute on that side. Let's go ahead and switch it up. So remember, we're crossing the ankle over on the opposite thigh on the side I want to attack. So I'm crossing the right leg over to attack the right. And then I am sitting on the meaty part of that upper outer glute area. And then I'm rolling back and forth until I find a tender spot. When I find that tender spot, I'm just gonna sit there. Remember not to slouch into your shoulder. So shoulder shouldn't be near ear. Drive it away. And then just roll back and forth. Nice and slow. Find that tender spot, sit on it. Give it a little bit of cross friction. And feel that thing release. And I think that's been about a minute here. So remember, if you find a spot that feels like it needs more attention, by all means, stay there longer. Typically, you wanna spend at least 30 seconds to a minute at each area that you're foam rolling. So give those a shot, let us know how it goes, and we'll see you next time. Take care.